I'm going to talk about uh, whether chat GPT can be used for quant investing. Well, it can certainly be used in some areas if you want to uh, write Python code to do uh, an algo trade. Yes, you can use it. And for a variety of other things also, you can use chat GPT. But you really need to be careful about it um, when it comes to, you know, how much you rely on the results from chart gpt or other language models you know chart gpt like tools okay uh, and i'm going to talk about what are the things that you should be careful about if you're using chart gpt for investment decisions not necessarily just algo trading but also other investment decisions you are making based on chart gpt one should be very careful about uh, for a variety of things uh, first thing is that AI models are not that uh, effective in, in quantitative finance. I made a video on it also already on my channel. Why AI and ML models are not that effective in quantitative finance. Well, AI models are very good in, uh, in many other areas. For example, in healthcare, for example, to predict healthcare outcome, uh, to, to uh, predict whether someone has uh, cancer or not based on you know the data provided uh, from the screening test uh, ai models can do a good job ai models can do a good job when it comes to you know predicting weather events you know um, because ai models are very good when it comes to the if the historical data uh, will get reflected in the future but that's not the thing in stock market if so many traders are using the same ai tool to predict the stock price of a given stock it is likely that that won't take place it, right so it's self reflecting in nature in in technical term we call it as behavioral in nature ai models in finance are bad because the nature of the problem is very behavioral it is not a scientific it is not you know real physics where you know you can predict the behavior of uh, of electron or proton movement uh, very accurately it, it's more of a social science topic where things could change uh, over time and if so many people are predicting the same it is likely that that um, that, that prediction outcome will not uh, occur right and hence AI models are not um, preferred by many companies in some companies that do uh, quant trading quant investment they use it uh, only in few areas for example in anomaly detection um, in uh, in data visualization uh, in cert certain activities but uh, but a lot of them do not also uh, ai models are useful in in some of the um, highly quantitative forms like you know citadel and all and 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 two sigma and and you know these big tech quantity forms that has got a lot of money to you know collect so much of data it's so it's more about the data rather than the models as such okay uh, but chart gpt as such will not do a good job simply because it is based on entirely historical data right so it doesn't take into account the future scenarios so it cannot do a good job when it comes to the problems being behavioral in nature, right? But there are many areas where chat GPT can be used. For example, you can collect data. You can collect data about uh, the quarterly results, the, the annual results of different companies. Uh, you know, that information, you can easily get it uh, uh, doing a few queries on chat GPT. You can uh, write, you know, Python or C++ code uh, for quantitative research using chat GPT. So that's quite, quite possible actually. Uh, you can uh, get to learn any investment topic. You can get to learn about any even given company, trading company um, on chat GPT. You can, you, can, you can use chat GPT to, uh, you know, learn a lot of, uh, th lot of the things um, about, about a given stock. Okay, so that's possible. Doing sentiment analysis also is quite possible, right? If you want to know what's going on um, for for a given stock, right? What news events, what sort of tweets, uh, and what sort of Reddit, um, you know, forums uh, are there for a given stock, and whether uh, what sentiment is there? It's a positive sentiment and negative sentiment. For that, also language models or the chart GPT type tools can definitely be used. Although, give me, let me give you a caution that uh, right now the model, the, the tools are not that great. I have also 
experimented a few times they're not doing a good job but i think over time they will do a, a much better job especially on the sentiment analysis part so uh, before charge gpt like you you, uh, you have to sort of write um, a good amount of you have to do a good amount of coding in order to do this but now things uh, things are m- much better are likely to be much m- better um once you know there is more improvement to charge gpt right um having said that sometimes it gives completely biased results also you know if you have used chat gpt you can tell you that uh, 9 out of 10 times it does a very good job but once in a while it does a very very poor job i don't know why um even there is a disclaimer um by open ai that uh, use it carefully sometimes things can be wrong and that is expected because it's uh, the tool is uh, trained uh, on all the mo- data available on the internet and uh, as you know that all the data available on the internet may not be a good enough data a lot of the data would be plain garbage and when you have garbage in your training data set it is likely that the outcome will also not be that great and that's exactly what uh, is happening to chat gpt and the similar tools like you know bard for example from google where you know sometimes they they are giving plain garbage whereas most of the times they are doing good job but sometimes so you really need to be careful about uh, when to use what and when to be really uh, be careful about uh, the the suggestions from chat gpt but one really good thing about chat gpt is that you can um, you can you can quickly prototype something right you can quickly write your algorithm back test your algorithm very very quickly um, on chat gpt um, you know so the coding part will be much much easier that's true but you really need to tweak it right so the modeling part or the research part is something that you will still have to do it chat gpt is not going to be able to do it at least for now maybe in the future it will be more powerful or there will be maybe investment specific gpt tools you never know i think some companies are also coming up with their own gpt tools like bloomberg is coming up with its own gpt tool jp morgan i think other financial firms uh, uh, will soon have their own gpt tools uh, but they will be proprietary and i think someone a normal person may not have access to those sort of tools the generic chat gpt tool that is there cannot simply be used for investment uh, addition you you need to to be because it's not made Uh, it's not tailored made for uh, investment purpose right it's more generic so it can be a uh, problematic but the coding part you do in quant research or trading can easily be done using using chat gpt and in fact people have started using it also in many places i was talking to a friend of mine uh, working as a senior quant in 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 a in a company and he was telling me that um, he is now using chat gpt for all the coding work he is not going to stack overflow now uh for any coding coding questions so that is actually uh, increasing his productivity so from a productivity point of view it's definitely going to help you help you a lot also from data collection point of view it is is amazing actually especially um you know getting uh, uh, the non traditional data right for example uh, twitter data or or any other social media data uh, just to do sentiment analysis on on a given financial product it's it's quite amazing but to be able to write an algorithm i think chat gpt is is not a good tool yet okay and as i've said already that ml and ai models uh, do not do a good job when it comes to uh, predicting behavior actually uh, not just behavior in the financial markets but also behavior in in, in society so for social science problems uh and it's quite nascent by the way because it's still evolving uh it's just been a few months when chat gpt uh was la- launched and it hasn't been peer reviewed right some might argue well it has been peer reviewed open ai has reviewed it thoroughly but it's not an independent review uh there is no government independent review by the government by any other independent agency to to know whether it's actually working fine or not i think there are many examples of um, people sharing uh, their own experience on linkedin that chat gpt is not doing well uh, on many things right so especially for investment where the stakes are very high you're going to lose money if something goes wrong 
you need to be really careful about for other things right for entertainment purpose you are you are writing a piece of software things are good but just taking uh, investment decision on face value from chat gpt is not a very good idea okay so that's what i wanted to share with you if you have your own experience please uh, share in in the comment section if you want to reach out to me please feel free thank you